emergency response team are, are called out um, by the police service in relation to anyone that's reported as being in distress. Um, it's very urgent when we respond. Um, your heart's pumping. You want to get there as fast as you can, but as safely as you can. Um, our teams will respond by boat and by an emergency response vehicle and by land. Um, our main aim is to get there, to get the person to safety and uh, ensure that they're taken to a place of safety afterwards, but unfortunately that's not always the case. I think we're very fortunate here in Derry and Strabane District Council to have uh, some incredible charities like Extern, which is a crisis intervention service, uh, which essentially provides a safe space um, from 8pm to 8am, uh, hours of need, where it's often hard to get to A&E or access to a counsellor. And it's essentially a place for people to, you know, have a cup of tea and perhaps de-escalate uh, the situation. We also have in areas like Strabane, uh, the Quorum Centre, which is a fantastic charity, which is fundamentally about helping helping people um, help themselves, counselling service, services, holistic services um, and the charities and the people that we encounter that I've met uh, are very passionate about tackling suicide. However, I feel as though this is an issue that needs to be tackled also from the top down and we need to have a structural change um, like more education in schools uh, and more movement around um, helping people understand their identity younger. Um, as we've seen recently, there's um, sort of an increase in deaths with young people. Um, so I feel as though mental health hasn't been talked enough from a young age and we need to talk more about mental health and well-being. Um, within the city we have a tremendous support group. One of the main groups that we have currently over the last 12 months is the Crisis uh, Intervention Centre, which has been uh, on a pilot scheme for the last 12 months. Um, they enable us to take people that we find in distress and access a counsellor straight away, someone for them to speak to, and a safe environment. So there's a very innovative project uh, that's currently underway over the past two years uh, regarding the River Foil and that is Future Foil. Essentially it is a project that uh, reimagines our relationship with the River Foil here and to take away from the negative association of the River Foil and suicide uh, in Derry. And essentially what that would involve is um, like a structural art uh, protective barrier around the foil bridge um, and it would be interactive so it's a form of celebrating the River Foil. And and also acts as a protective barrier as well. So essentially celebrating the relationship that this uh, historical city has with the river and um, moving away from the association of it uh, and suicide. One of the things we are asked very often, both on duty and off duty, is, is, is what we would say to somebody who is currently in, in a mental health crisis. Well, the first thing is you're not alone. There's lots of help out there. There's lots of agencies. Lift the phone, talk to somebody, talk to a friend, talk to a family member. You'll always get help. Suicide is not the answer. There's help out there. Make sure and contact somebody and it will get better. My advice would be, if you're feeling suicidal, is to be reminded that it's okay not to be okay and that help is out there. You are loved and you are wanted. And if you have a teacher or a lecturer, a coach, a parent, someone you can confide in, let them know how you're feeling and reach out. There's people always willing to listen. So I'm gonna love you. I'm saying goodbye.